it's about three in the afternoon on July 9th. Um, being July 9th, it means it's exactly a week until my birthday. Uh, my birthday is July 16th. And, um, yeah. So, I went to bed last night. And, guys, it was cold. Like, low 50s temperature. And, um, <laughs> I was under, like, I don't know, multiple blankets. It was so nice to be cold, but in the middle of July is so weird for where we live. Um, I did check the weather forecast for my birthday and it's supposed to be 109. So that's not pleasant, but you know, it is what it is. But anyways, so I slept until about noon, which while that seems long, means I actually only slept about, uh, five hours <laughs> so I'm, I'm tired um but anyways so then I took a bath because my knee was hurting me and while I was in the bath I edited and uploaded the video and so now I am here to do my update so at the end of the last video I was talking about um sock week and <laughs> I think I'm okay. This is what I think I'm going to do. If I can finish Evelyn's quilt, then I will let myself cast on the socks and Nitty Natty included a whole schedule, um, of like what you need to accomplish each day to finish this pair, the socks in a week. And so today would be cast on a cup. And so, um, I mean, I think that's doable. Anyways, um, I had thought I had printed out the sock pattern, but I couldn't find it. So I guess I didn't print it out, but I am going, I think I'm going to do the fairground socks from Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. Hey, be nice. Um, and I'm planning on using this self-striping Christmas yarn that I got quite some time ago, like mm, four, four years ago, maybe. Anyways, um, using that and making those fairground socks. So yeah, I mean, maybe not my smartest idea, but I'm going to go with it. Uh, so with that said, I need to get going on that quilt because I also probably should pack today. We might go to dinner. Um, my husband got a gift card for BJ's brew house, um, at Christmas and we still haven't used it. And so we were talking about going to BJ's for dinner tonight. Uh, we'll see if that happens. We both can get, like, not wanting to leave the house. <laughs> Anyways, and then tonight is also our garbage and recycling night, which always takes a while, especially on recycling nights. Uh, where we live, it's recycle every other week. So that always takes a while to gather it all up. Um, so, anyways, um, with that being said... I am going to open the two yarns for today and then I am going to start quilting immediately. Um, the other interesting thing is like today is supposed to be a high of 84 degrees. That is so crazy for where we live. I wish that was the norm. I would be so happy in a place that had a high of 84 in the summertime. That just sounds like a dream. But alas, that is that is not where I live. <laughs> so anyways, let's get going. So day number nine on the sparkle one is Mrs. Weasley. I'm picturing like orange and brown. I'm thinking like her orange hair and like a brown cardigan. Oh, not, uh, not far off. This was a pretty close guess. Oh, 
I have to hide this from the dogs so they don't steal it again. And then day number nine on this one is divinations. Hmm. Oh, what do I even guess for divinations? I don't know. Um, I mean, it could go in so many different directions, really. Oh, I could do with a whole skein of that. Oh, imagine a pair of socks or something in this color. Oh, gorgeous. Makes up for yesterday's horrendousness. Anyways, so very pretty color. Very happy with that. I am going to start quilting and um, then I will do some like uh, pack with me again or something like that. Probably not for my clothes. I honestly don't even know what I'm going to pack for clothes. Um, my parents said something about going to Sequoia. That sounds like nature. I'm not a nature person. <laughs> I'm an indoors person. Um, so I might have to actually pack something that I can wear out into nature. But other than that, it's probably just going to be like comfy dresses and pajama pants. It is going to get into the like 109s <laughs> up in Fresno while I'm there. So uh, that's hot. And uh, my grandpa doesn't do cold well. So the air conditioning doesn't get run as often as I would prefer. So it's going to be a bit of a struggle. But nevertheless, nevertheless, we persevere. So, um, I will come back in a little bit, but gotta get, gotta get sewing. So I will. Okay. So yesterday I made the prediction that I think it will take me five hours to finish this quilt. So I am going to actually, I'm going to set a stopwatch and see how long it takes me. And I'm only going to time, like time spent working on the quilt. I mean, but all aspects of the quilt. So cutting, sewing, setting up the sewing machine, anything like that. But if I like stop to go get a snack or um, get distracted by something, then I'm gonna pause it. But I am curious about how close I will get to five hours. So if you have any predictions, put your time predictions down below and we'll see. We'll see if anyone's right. Um, we'll see if I'm right. <laughs> So I'm going to do that. That could be like a fun little game. How quickly can I get this done? How how good am I at guessing how long things take me? Uh, usually pretty bad, but hopefully I'll be closer to accurate this time because I, I want to get this done. Um, so bye. Hey friends, it is midnight and this is the first time I'm checking in. I managed to do it. I finished the quilt. Um, it took about four hours, but that got broken up a lot, um, with various things. Actually, <laughs> I still need to snip a few threads, but that's okay. I'll, I'll do that while down in Fresno. Um, that's not really a big deal, but here it is in all of its glory. I mean, I can't get all of it in, but here it is. I managed to finish it and here is the backing. I just did a stitch in a ditch which created squares from a distance not really visible which is great and then I did that technique I was telling you about where you use the backing fabric as binding. Okay I said it was two and a half inches. Do not do two and a half inches. I did an inch and a half because I thought the the instruction said an inch and I thought that wasn't going to be big enough. No, it was too big. So I had to do a double stitched border, which my lines aren't very straight, but whatever. I can't care. And then I decided I was going to do this 
ridiculous heart motif. And at first I was like, I'm going to go around the whole thing and do that. But, um, yeah, <laughs> it's a, it's a little much, but I mean, you can see that they're hearts. So, I mean, cute, but yeah, too much. <laughs> so, but it is done. It is done and both quilts are done. So I am super, super happy about that fact, which brings me to um, my next, uh, my next thing. <laughs> okay, now, hang on, let me scoot back closer. Come on, chair. Ooh, okay, I'm back. <laughs> Um, so I said that if I finished it, I was going to cast on the socks. I know Katrina, you told me don't do it, but you know, I don't listen really well. So I printed out the pattern. I'm pretty sure I already printed this out. I just don't know where it's at. So fairground socks by Kay Jones at the bakery bears. And I've got my Christmas yarn and <laughs> I've done two rounds of ribbing. I know it's so, so impressive. I did two whole rounds. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm not packed, not packed at all. That's why we didn't have a pack with me because I didn't pack yet. Um, we did manage to change my rental reservation from um, my husband got mistaken and thought I was supposed to have it back. Well, he thought that my parents left on Friday and that I would be back on Friday. So we changed it to a Monday drop off because they close at noon on Saturday and our town open on Sunday. And so it was cheaper to change the reservation to a Monday drop off than to change it to renting the car from the airport and dropping it off on Saturday. So we're doing that. Um, we're going to try to go get the rental car as early as possible in the morning. They open at, um, they open at 8 a.m. Don't know if we'll make it there at 8 a.m. We're not morning people, as you can tell, because most of my vlogging happens in the middle of the night. But anyways, um, and so then I'll just pack after that and just like take it out into the car. In part because I've been leaving the craft room open to the dogs at night. I know the whole situation with the yarn, but here's the thing, okay. They haven't managed to get the yarn from there without the aid of like the blow up mattress. That ball of yarn that they stole yesterday was because I put it in a place that they hadn't ever <laughs> taken anything from, but it was definitely within their reach. So that one kind of on me, but they hadn't done that before. And it was in a project bag. <sighs> Doesn't matter. I've learned that lesson not to put it there, but so they haven't been accessing the rest of the thing. And it's so much easier to just leave the door open than to carry their beds back and forth. Um, because the good portion of the floor is covered in dog beds. <laughs> um, anyways, so I think that I'll just pack in the morning. I don't think it's going to take very long. Um, I didn't all the way unpack from my trip to Fresno during the middle of the week when we went for 4th of July. Um, and so like a lot of the craft bag is still packed. I'm going to change what's in there, but a lot of it's packed. And then because it's just me going, I don't need to worry about like having space in the car because when we go with the dogs, like a lot of the space gets taken up with like a gate to keep them confined in a, in a ro certain room in the house at my grandpa's and their food and their toys and their beds and stuff like that. And so, um, yeah, when we travel with the dogs, a lot of space gets taken up with the dogs. I can take excess stuff if I want. So I'm not too worried about like needing to 
whittle down my selections. Um, I did call and talk to my mom for like an hour today. <sighs> she confirmed that going to Sequoia's meant going on a hike, which <sighs> I told her though, that we need to go as early as possible because the weather is starting to like get hot. Um, like tomorrow is going to be in the low nineties. Tuesday's going to be the mid nineties. And I think Wednesday is supposed to be in the hundreds. Unfortunately, because of my sister's job, she has to work Monday and Tuesday. And so we're probably going to go on Wednesday. So, but I hope the mountains are going to be cooler than the valley. Um, so yeah, but I'm a lot of waffling right now. Anyways, so I still have to do garbage and recycle. So I'm going to try to do that as quickly as possible. Then, according to Nitty Natty's schedule, um, like for finishing a sock in a week, and it, it's not like something you have to follow. Excuse me. Sorry. Wow. Okay. It's not like something you have to follow to participate, but it's like the recommended schedule for finishing a sock in a week. Anyways, today is supposed to be cast on and the cuff. The pattern calls for 15 rounds for the cuff, and so... I, my plan is to do the garbage as quickly as possible. Normally this is something that takes a while, but I'm really just going to be like, hit it or miss it. Like, you know, if something doesn't end up in the garbage or the recycle, it's garbage again in a week and recycle in two weeks. It's not the end of the world. So I'm going to try to do it as quickly as possible. Then I want to come back, put on an ASMR probably. Although I had started an episode of the Bakery Bears. I wonder how much I have left on it. Oh, it's, it changed from Bakery Bears to just the plain Rocco. Anyways, um, so yeah, so I think put on an ASMR and try to finish the cuff. Um, I'm really into like map ASMRs right now. So I've been enjoying this channel called Melange ASMR and, um, she does a lot of maps and like the one I watched yesterday was a like map of middle earth. It was really nice. So do that and try to finish the cuffs. And if possible, I have five rounds on the cowl to finish a color today. If not, I mean, there's there are 31 days in July, which means that like that's six more days than Christmas, than 25 days of Christmas. So I have some little leeway. So it's not the end of the world if I don't complete a color. I'm still hoping to, um, I'm still hoping to like stay caught up. Well, not stay caught up, but to finish the cowl by the end of the month. I'm planning on taking down the cowl and the blanket, which I haven't worked on since the first day. Um, and if I have time to work on those, but most of my time will probably be spent on my niece and nephew's afghans that I'm crocheting. Um, but I might stay one more day just because I have an extra day on the rental and then come back on the morning of my birthday, like maybe do breakfast with my sister on my birthday and then come back here. Um, we'll see. So we were thinking about going to the fair on my birthday, but I think to avoid some of the crowds, we're thinking of going like on Monday or a day in the week when maybe not as many people are there. So anyways, I will come back really soon with hopefully a completed cuff. Um, I left the stitch marker set that I'm planning on using on this project downstairs. So I have to go get that, but I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye. Hey guys. Okay. I'm back for just a minute and I had to pick up this crazy girl cause there was a lot of noise in the background. Let's just say that this is take two of filming this quick little update. Anyways, this is Rachel. Hey Rachel. So I finished doing the trash and while I was outside, I decided to check the mail and I got my tea club of the month. Um, 
So I thought I would share that with you. I did already open it because while I was out there, I wanted to just put the packaging in the recycle bin. And so the flavor for this month is called Strawberry Lemonade Herbal um, in the Herbal Tea Club. And honestly, I'm probably gonna take this down to Fresno and give it to my mom. I don't like strawberry flavored things. I love strawberries. I don't like strawberry flavored things. So I don't like strawberry ice cream, strawberry milkshakes, uh, strawberry flavored candy. Um, I don't know what else, but I don't like strawberry <laughs> like that. And so I was going to make a cup of this until I saw what it was. And so I might like have a sip down in Fresno, but I'll just take it to my mom. So it always comes with a sample of a different flavor. I have had this flavor before, but I thought that I would brew it and turn on the air conditioning while I knit these socks and just like get in a real cozy, cozy, comfy place. And so this one is called Cozal Tranquil Dream Herbal Tea. And um, I, I also thought that was perfect since I'm going to go to bed real soon. And it's rose hip orange peel, chamomile, lemongrass, and spearmint. It really does smell like a nice sleepy time tea. And um, I've had it before, so I do know it's good. The other thing I did while I was downstairs was I brought, I grabbed the stitch marker set that I will be using with these socks. And I mean, since July is Harry Potter's birthday month, I will be taking this Harry Potter set that I never used. Most of my stitch markers sets, I put all the rings together and then I keep the progress keepers separate. Um, and the reason I do that is just, I can grab however many, it's really handy. However, these ones, the, um, the stitch markers, are the house colors and so I wanted to keep this set together so I thought you know I'd bring all of the things together in one project so we've got sock week going on we've got Christmas yarn and it's Harry Potter's birthday so we've got a Harry Potter set so yeah <laughs> that's what I did so I'm going to put on a video hopefully lull myself into sleepy mode and um and then go to bed. So I will come back hopefully soon with just a quick update on these socks. So be back.